I have acquired the Google Pixel 6, and like a true technophile, I have been giddy with excitement playing with the latest phone from Google. I have used a lot of Android phones over the last decade, and before moving to Japan, researching, reviewing, and testing gadgets, especially phones, was one of my many jobs. Digging through my archives, I can see I have blogged about some of the phones I have owned personally, from the HTC Legend, Galaxy S4, Motorola G, and the Samsung Galaxy S7. But today, it's all about the Google Pixel 6, the latest and greatest from Google and Android. I'm sure if you are watching this, you have already checked out posts and videos from big tech bloggers and YouTubers who got the phone for free, used it for a week, then rushed out their reviews the day the NDA lifted. But here are my quick thoughts, the thoughts of a regular long-time Android user after using it for a week, who paid for the phone. The main parts I will share my quick thoughts on are software, hardware, then pics, and a video test. Let's go! The Pixel 6 comes with Android 12, the biggest update to Android OS in years. Android has come a long way since version 1 13 years ago. Full disclaimer, I used every version of Android up to version 9, but had very limited interaction with Android 10 and 11. So version 12 is me seeing what has changed on Android in 3 years. The design philosophy, animations, colors, etc. is different. Gestures are fluid, though take a bit to get used to, and the whole OS is still the Android I know and love. With that said, there are still some annoying bugs, crashing apps and the occasional hiccup, but things run smoothly, 95% of the time. I love the design of the Pixel 6 and seeing the design was the first thing to make me sit up and take notice. I got the kind of coral and though polarizing, I love the camera visor on the back. A shame I will always have it hidden in a case. I'll put the specs up on the screen now, all acceptable for a phone at this price point. Other than the design, the new Tensor chip is huge for Google and lets the phone do some cool things faster and without the need to communicate with servers such as text-to-speech, uh, live translation and more. Speaking of text-to-speech, let's test it out. I am recording a video and testing text-to-speech on the new Google Pixel 6 and using it to write this tweet, mobile phone emoji, nerd face emoji, full stop. Check it out on my YouTube channel soon, Television Emoji. Pixels have been well known for their photo taking prowess for a long time. I'll put some pics I took on screen while I talk about the camera. The Pixel 6 packs an all new camera hardware and extra AI powers, thanks to the mentioned Tensor chip. My early verdict? It is a little rough around the edges, but expected to get better in time. I still need to put on my photographer hat and put it through its full paces, shooting portraits, landscape, macro, zoom, low lighting, selfies and more. Right now I agree with early reviewers, many pics seem overexposed, but the Pixel 6 has been spitting out more good shots than average ones so far. I need more time to experiment with the camera software features like action pan, long exposure, uh, panorama, etc. Finally, video on the Pixel 6 is okay, I guess. Personally, I would probably hardly use the video feature on this cam outside of small clips and the occasional social media post. Check out this test clip. Can you guess which one is my DJI Pocket 2 and which is the Pixel 6? I look forward to using the Pixel 6 more in the coming weeks and months. If you have any questions or want a follow-up video or blog post on any specific thing about the Pixel 6, let me know in a comment below or tweet me at Jamaipanese on Twitter. Thank you for watching.